Hey everyone, Google recently announced Gemini Flash, a large language model that is lightweight, optimized for speed and efficiency. So today I wanted to show you how to utilize Gemini Flash from within Google Cloud Vortex AI for your enterprise applications. So here we go. First things first, let's understand a little bit about Gemini Flash. So here I am on DeepMind.Google and I'm looking at the specifications of Flash, trying to understand a little more. So here we are. Lightweight, fast, cost-effective, while featuring multimodal reasoning and a long context window of up to 1 million tokens. So if you remember, the 1.5 model, but Pro also has a long context window, a large context window, uh, but Flash offers a little more lightweight and faster features, and it is optimized for performance. So um, here we are seeing it is built for speed. It is um, quality at lower cost, so great for enterprise applications. And then it also has a large context window. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you are building applications, Flash has 1 million token context window by default, which means that you can process one hour of video, 11 hours of audio, code bases with more than 30,000 lines of code, and over 700,000 words. Now, if you translate all of that, think about if 11 hours of audio, if you could process and uh, customer support use cases would become so much more powerful where you could put in all of your uh, recorded, uh, con re recorded uh, conversations from customer support to kind of learn a little more about what your customers are looking for and where you can improve. That's a large use case right there. And, you know, possibilities are endless with, uh, with that much amount of data. From there, you could also here, I'm able to see that the difference between Gemini 1.5 Flash and 1.5 Pro, the latest version, um, on multiple different uh, dimensions and benchmarks. And on all of them, it's pretty close when, when it comes to all of these benchmarks. So we're going to give this a try. Let's uh, click on Build with 1.5 Flash. And that takes me to the developer uh, Gemini API. And I actually want to uh, go into the version where I can go into Google Cloud and use this. So I click on uh, Google Cloud and then here I can go into my console and right away I am in the model where Gemini 1.5 Flash is selected for me and I can start using it. With that, let's give it a try. Here I am in my prompt side of things where I want to uh, give it a decently complicated prompt and see how uh, Gem Flash does. And, all right, so I typed in based on the coupon, help me create this week's meal plan with recipes and also share a shopping list for me to, uh, to purchase things. And then I upload coupon from uh, a certain grocery store and uh, Gemini Flash is taking the input in it's processing that information and here we go we have a weekly meal plan Monday Tuesday Wednesday it is giving me dinner uh, suggestions this is kind of what I wanted uh, up to Sunday and then here's our shopping list it took all that information and created an, an amazing shopping list for me. And then it also says, don't forget about Mother's Day. Um, I'm happy with it. And when I am in, um, in Vortex AI, I can click on generate code and then it gives me the code that I need in order to start using um, this particular API. With that, I would love for you to give Gemini Flash a try and let me know in comments below how that experience went. What did you end up trying? Looking forward to it. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more such content. Thank you.